You're looking at a live shot over the uh, northern part of Dallas, Texas. You may have heard about the EF3 tornado that moved through the northern portion of the city of Dallas on Sunday. This is some of the damage from our affiliate in the Dallas area. Uh, you can see a lot of the damage kind of confined to uh, neighborhood areas, unfortunately, but for the most part, one of the most amazing stories that came out of the Dallas area this week, an EF3 tornado hit during a Cowboys game, which obviously people would have been you know, fixated watching that game, not a single a serious injury. There's some minor ones and certainly no deaths and that is the greatest news out of that but there's a lot to be rebuilt down in the Dallas Fort Worth area after this weekend's thunderstorms now for us we're looking at some quieter conditions as we head into the next 24 hours we do have a storm system that'll be brewing for the late part of the week but nothing significant as far as precipitation is concerned we're looking at chilly weather tonight ahead of it we actually warm up a little bit tomorrow then the front pushes through could see a few showers on Thursday it's not out of the question it's also not likely but a colder wind will move in on Thursday and then some frosty conditions early, but mostly sunny through the rest of Friday. Partly cloudy right now at Manhattan. We've got a breeze blowing through at Lawrence. You can see the flags flapping there, but a lot of sunshine, sunny sky for the most part. We call it sunny to partly cloudy at Emporia, as well as in the capital city, a partly cloudy sky. Right now it's 62 degrees. The winds are out of the west at 11 miles per hour. That 62 degree reading is the high after starting out at 44. We'll be near that low again, but I think we'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon with a return to a light southwesterly wind. And there is some warmer weather off to the southwest. Even our southwestern counties are up into the mid 60s and some of that warmth will continue to advance to the north and to the northeast. Right now, a west and northwest wind, 9 to as high as 17 miles per hour, so a little breezy out there. Those breezes will continue to diminish tonight, eventually turning more to a southwest direction toward morning. And that will linger through about the midday. After that, the winds start to turn back to the northwest and eventually heading into the daytime on Thursday, it will be more of a due north wind. And that will be a chillier breeze for the second half of the week. Mainly clear sky right now. Cloud cover off to the north and west. This is the next system that will be dropping in from the northern Rockies as it drops to the south and east. Initially, it's just going to produce a little bit of cloud cover and maybe a few passing clouds tonight. And then the next front pushing south where it gives us increasing cloud cover through the late part of the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, now we're up to Thursday morning, you know, sprinkles, maybe a few showers here and there, especially over the southern counties on Thursday, but a lot of us don't see any precipitation. What we will see is a round of some cooler temperatures and wind chills. This is heading into Thursday morning. We see the wind chills fall into the 30s, hover in the 30s all day long, and then it gets even colder with widespread 20s for wind chills by Friday morning. Tonight, 46, a light westerly wind. We're back up to a high tomorrow of 69, variable cloud cover and variable wind as well as the winds will shift eventually to more of a northwest direction, staying at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. For the next seven days, we are looking at temperatures up into the 60s tomorrow, but falling considerably into Thursday, a high of 49, and then 32 early Friday morning with a high of 57. Breezes kick in as we head into the weekend, a little bit warmer on Saturday up to 64, but cooling back down into the 50s for a few days late in the weekend and on into early next week as well. Beautiful sky at Baileyville today from Penny Hazen Camp. And how's this for a little look of uh, Halloween? If the graphics advance, they like to hold up sometimes. <laughs> well, was Imagine on. it. I'll show you that one a little bit later. You get that pulled up. Looks like the graphics hung up on that one. Lola was a... Uh, a little bit uh, enjoyable today. She decided I, I was getting ready to go to work. Yeah. She just gave me this look and she's like, I'm going to. She's like, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. They called me in. Waited me at the door. She's like, I, she sets her own hours as yeah. it turns out. So. Well, and one of my favorite parts is you got to wrangle her up. So yeah. <laughs> what, what you when you're see. done, yeah. She's she, she really wants to be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lola. Love Very that. Very affectionate today. <laughs> well,